Through the years, I've moved from one body to another. We all know Millie Bobby Brown from her role in the ultra-popular Netflix series Stranger Things. Since the show's debut in 2015, Brown has cemented her place in Hollywood. So far, Millie has won several acting awards, including a SAG Award for Outstanding Performance by an Ensemble in a Drama Series, two MTV Movie Awards for Best Actor in a Show, and Best Performance in a Show. Millie has also been awarded as the Choice Sci-Fi Fantasy TV Actress for the Teen Choice Awards and won the Kids' Choice Awards for Favorite TV Actress twice, along with 20 Emmy nominations. So with all of this, Millie Bobby Brown pretty much established that she is a talented actress. But what about her previous shows? Were they not as good? So in this video, I'll talk to you about all the other shows and movies that Millie Bobby Brown has starred in. But before that, a simple reminder on how to enter our brand new giveaway. We're giving away either an iPhone X Max, the new iPad Mini, or a MacBook Pro. It's all your choice, but be sure to leave a like, comment the keyword, subscribe, and turn on notifications to enter the giveaway. It's really that simple. All right, let's get started with the very first one, Once Upon a Time in Wonderland. Millie Bobby Brown's acting debut started two years prior to becoming Eleven on Stranger Things. Before being the weird, dagger-eyed, and bald character we all know, she was the curious blonde and long-haired girl named Alice. She first appeared in the pilot episode of the ABC series Down the Rabbit Hole. During this time, Millie, as young Alice, returned home after her adventure in Wonderland. Everyone thought she was dead. Naturally, she tried to convince her family, especially her father, that she only went down the rabbit hole to the place called Wonderland. However, nobody believed her and she ended up locked in an asylum. This first episode that starred Millie got the highest viewership score among all the episodes in the series, with an audience of almost 6 million US viewers. Millie then returned for the fifth episode entitled Heart of Stone, when young Alice confronted the older Alice played by Sophie Lowe. Despite Millie's awesome performance, the show unfortunately got booted after 13 episodes due to low ratings. Next, we have BBC's Intruders. Millie finally got a starring role in another TV show, this time on BBC. She got cast as the nine-year-old Madison O'Donnell for the BBC series Intruders. And because of her innate acting ability, a 10-year-old Millie was immediately cast for the lead role after just sending her audition tapes. If you have no idea what the show is all about, let me tell you. Intruders is a drama series based on Michael Smith's 2007 novel with the same title. It premiered back in 2014 on BBC Two. The show detailed the story of a former LAPD detective who was asked to investigate strange occurrences in the area that were all related to deaths. A serial killer by the name of Marcus Fox came back to life by using the body of a poor little girl, and that's none other than young Millie Brown. This was the series that allowed Millie to earn compliments from one of the best horror and suspense writers on the planet, Stephen King. That's not surprising because we were blown away by her performance as Madison and the way the young kid tried to battle the wayward soul inside of her. Next is NCIS. In the same year as Intruders, Millie was also cast for the part of the psychopathic young child Rachel Barnes in the hit crime series NCIS. Millie only appeared once in NCIS in an episode entitled Parental Guidance Suggested, but she still made a good impression for the viewers and the cast of the show. The reason behind this was the scary but amazing personality of Rachel Barnes, a child murderer that Millie was able to bring to life. Rachel was a troubled child who appeared like any normal kid. However, her mother, Dr. Valerie Barnes, a psychiatrist, recognized that Rachel was not like any other child. She showed signs of psychopathy. That's why she wanted her daughter to get treated at a medical facility in Montana. Rachel, of course, grew to resent her mother for wishing to send her away. Rachel loved her father, Navy SEAL Ryan Barnes, and wanted to stay with him. Eventually, Millie Bobby Brown as Rachel came to the conclusion that her mother had to be removed from her to be able to stay with her father forever. So, she performed an unspeakable act that led to the death of her mother. You'll just have to watch the rest of the episode to find out. Next up is Grey's Anatomy. Grey's Anatomy is known not just for its awesome plot every episode, but also for its knack of having stars guest on their show. While Millie Bobby Brown might not be part of the list of stars back then, it certainly feels like Inception since she got a role for the medical drama series just a year prior to her breakout performance. Just like in NCIS, Millie gave a performance fit for a standing ovation after playing the role of Ruby, a little girl who was trapped with her mother after an earthquake occurred. 
In the episode aptly titled I Feel the Earth Move, Millie delivered a heartwarming performance as Ruby when she committed to save her mother who was in bad shape due to the quake. With the help of Owen, Millie as Ruby bravely followed a series of medical steps to keep her mom alive, until a team of rescuers were able to locate them and bring them to safety. Next, let's look at Modern Family. Unlike her appearances for NCIS and Grey's Anatomy, little Millie Brown's role in the ABC Family drama series Modern Family wasn't as significant. In the 17th episode of Season 6 entitled Closet, you'll love it. Millie was cast in the role of Lizzie. It's going to be pretty hard for you to spot Millie as Lizzie because she had just a few seconds of airtime. When was this? Well, Lizzie was the little girl whose bike got stolen by the big but soft Manny Delgado. That's both the first and the last time we see of Millie in Modern Family. Then we have Godzilla, King of the Monsters. Millie once again gets cast in a role in which her name is Madison, but instead of a child murderer in a television series, this time she's Madison Russell, a teenage girl who got caught in a clash between Godzilla and his nemesis Ghidorah with the future of all mankind on the line. This was Millie's first official feature film and everyone absolutely adored her. That about wraps up what Millie Bobby Brown has accomplished in the world of television and film production. Well, except for Stranger Things, of course. Millie has also been seen in several music videos just like in Sigma's song entitled Find Me and in the official video for Maroon 5 and Cardi B's Girls Like You. Plus, Millie has also been involved in the creation of a unique project called Spheres Songs of Space Time. Spheres is a magical three-chapter journey to undercover the song of the universe. It's a special virtual reality project written and directed by Eliza Nitt. The goal of the project is to let its audience learn that space is not silent. In fact, it is full of sound and wonder that is just waiting to be discovered by mankind. So it explores the realm of space mostly through our sense of hearing, while the beautiful picturesque view of the cosmos is right in front of your eyes through a VR device. Millie is one of the three brilliant narrators of this experience. She narrates the first chapter entitled The Chorus of the Cosmos. For her part, Millie was able to showcase her versatility as a performer and it gave her a chance to show everyone that she's more than just a pretty face. Even while most of the world is quarantined, Millie is also obviously busy with the fourth season of Stranger Things. But that's not the only thing we should look forward to when it comes to our favorite British teen actress. Millie will be part of a 2020 film entitled Enola Holmes, which is based off a mystery book series of the same name. The film focuses on the story of Enola, who is, of course, the younger sister of famous detective Sherlock Holmes. The problem is the Conan Doyle estate sued Netflix over the film because they believe that it paints Sherlock Holmes in a bad light. For them, Sherlock should be devoid of emotion which is in keeping with the public domain portrayal of Holmes. Moreover, Millie Bobby Brown will also be reprising her role as Madison Russell for the 2021 movie Godzilla vs. Kong. In this film, Madison will have to go on a journey to decide which of the two giants she will side with. So with all of these accolades, it's fair to say she has a pretty bright future ahead of her. Anyways, thanks for watching the video.